Hi, it's Caden and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Sunland Village, the active adult community here in Mesa, Arizona. I'm going to take you all around the community, show you the amenities it has to offer, and tell you everything you need to know. Let's get started. To start, let's talk about location, location, location. So you are located just off the 60 off of Greenfield here in Mesa. The majority of the community is located just in that square mile of Broadway, Higley, Southern, and Greenfield. But there is a newer subdivision just on the other side of Greenfield. Uh, the majority, all the clubhouses, the restaurant, and the golf club are going to be within that square mile of Broadway, Higley, Southern, and Greenfield. Now we can start by walking around the ballroom here, which will be the location that the the tennis club will be hosting the Johnny K and company dance in just a couple of weeks to help fund their club. So this is a very active community. I'll walk around the entire clubhouse. Now the clubhouse is just separated by a few holes of golf and then just on the other side is the golf club and the restaurant. Now something key about the community is you're only about a half a mile off of the 60 highway. So you've got great access to the rest of the East Valley. You're only a couple miles north of Gilbert. So if you've got family in the East Valley. You can zip around on the highways. You have great access to the entire East Valley in this community. And very quickly, if you are comparing these communities, I do have a completely free 55 plus community guide. It has a one page summary of all the communities here in the greater Phoenix area, a map that plots them all out to give you an idea of where they are location wise. And at the end, it has a spreadsheet that compares all of the stats, HOA fees, average sales price, everything you would need. No one has something quite as detailed as this. So if you'd like it, shoot me a text, call or email and I can get it over to you. Now let's take a walk around the recreation center. They do have one recreation center and and one golf course in this community. They've got over 20 clubs in the community ranging from tennis to pickleball to acting and dancing. They've even got a hiking club, which is very useful given how close you are to the Superstition Mountains. The golf course actually has some views of the mountains. Not too much, but you can see the mountains from the golf course. Here is an amphitheater they have here in the courtyard. You can see that brand new building going up there. That is going to be a fiber art center for the quilting club. But you can see to my left over there was just the horseshoes where they have a horseshoe club. And I'm walking over to the shuffleboard area here now. Now, one great thing about this community is the low HOA costs. So if you live in a single family home, not a townhouse, villa, or condo, you only have to pay the $650 annual cost to get access to everything this recreation center has to offer. That $650 will also cover you and whoever else is in that household. So it's $650 per household, not per person, which is very nice. Now we are just walking through the courtyard here where they have a small concession stand with some billboards on there. This is the outside of the ballroom, right in between the ballroom, the tennis courts, and where all of the interest rooms here are. So there's a ton of different interest rooms here, and we're actually just about to walk by them right now. They've got all the different interest rooms that you could want. They've got billiards, game rooms, arts and crafts, just about everything. Now, all of them are locked unless you are a member to the community, but I did get some kind residents to let me into the pool area and the fitness area, so I will be able to show you the fitness room and the pool. Now, while I walk on over to the other side and show you the new building that's going to be for the quilting club, you're probably wondering where the pickleball courts are. Now, they are over by the condo area. All the residents in the community Community, single family townhouse, everybody in the community can use uh, the pickleball courts over there. They are just located right by the condo. So we'll make a quick trip over there and show you the pickleball courts. And there's also another pool over there as well. Now, Sunland Village Golf Club does have a restaurant, Rockchester's Family Dining and Sports Bar. It's got a nice outdoor patio. And here in the golf club, they've got all the practice facilities that you could possibly need, driving range, putting and chipping green. To tell you a little bit about the tee times out here, the most expensive tee time you can possibly book would be a winter non-resident tea time and that is going to be $70 with a cart. So compared to a lot of other golf courses here, that is not a lot for the winter tea times. Now one thing I like about this community is the pride of ownership. Driving down the streets of this community, a lot of people take great care of their home, whether they live in a villa or a townhouse where the HOA takes care of the outside or they live in a single family home where they take care of the outside. Everything 
is very clean on the streets of Sunland Village. Now, there are a few different dwellings that you can live in here in the community. They've got villas, townhouses, they've got condominiums, and they've got single family homes. So there's a few different subdivisions of each of them. I'll tell you kind of the basic price ranges for each group and the basic square footage ranges for each group. For single family homes, they range from about a thousand square feet up into 2,200 square feet. And the price range is around the mid 300s to the high 400s. As far as villas and townhouses go, they range from 600 square feet up into 1,600 square feet, have about a 200 monthly HOA, and an average price range of the high 100 range and the 180, 190 range up into the mid to high 200s. Now, I do really like a couple of the townhouse HOAs because you pay $200 a month for the HOA, but that covers sewer, water, garbage, trash, and roof repair and replacement. So you'll never have to worry about repairing your roof depending on which townhouse HOA you are in. Then you have the condominiums, which have about the same square footage as the villas. They have a $400 monthly HOA because there are more things to pay for in a condo, and they range from the high 100s to the low 200s. And that's all I've got for you out here in Mesa from Sunland Village. My name is Caden Leali. I am a licensed real estate agent here in the greater Phoenix area. If you were looking into an age-restricted community in the East or the West Valley, or maybe age-restricted communities aren't for you, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you with that move out here. I've got that free 55-plus community guide with a one-page summary, a map plotting out all the communities, and a spreadsheet at the end comparing everything. I think it's a really useful tool if you are comparing all the communities, and nobody really has something as detailed as that. So if you would like any of that, feel free to shoot me a text, call, or email, and you have a good rest of your day.